hi guys so in this video we will see how we from the document so here we have one invoice i have given as a sample so we will use this invoice to extract the data from okay so let's see so from here we are going to extract date total and tax amount so for this what we have to do first we will open sap build application then we have to choose create and then we have to create task automation and here we have to put project name okay so whatever the name you want you can give the project name so i am giving data extraction because we are going to extract data from the invoice so i am giving data extract invoice okay and then we have to hit create button and our project is created now as a next step uh, so it will take few minutes or few seconds to create so once it created we have to select agent version like whatever the agent version you have installed on your system it will show as local and registered and you have to select only that and then you have to name your automation like what you want to give your automation name so just put name according to your choice so for now i am putting invoice extraction uh, invoice data extraction so you can put uh, the name what you want and just hit on create button so it's creating and it's adding a sticky package to that project and uh, it will take few seconds to create and now it's created so now for extracting data from the invoice we have to create one or uh, data type like uh, we we are creating here invoice variable because we have to store the extracted uh, variables extracted data from invoice in variable so we will have to create one invoice data type variable and on that whatever the whatever the fields we have to extract we will put the names here like uh, we will create uh, new childs and we we will uh, put like uh, company name document number date so whatever the fields we want to extract we have to create that uh, variables and we have to select their data type like what data type variables are going to be stored in this variable okay so this is the document number so i am giving like document number and what is its data type so if you see the below field it's string type so likewise we will create our invoice variables in invoice data type okay so let's create all then we will move forward so now it's done so for extracting the data from that invoice we have to select document template and we will create a new template just name it out your template and if you want to give description you can give your description it's not a mandatory and just select the invoice from which you have to extract the data so i am selecting my invoice that is sample 1 that i named of my invoice and then hit on next button and from here you have to select like what is that like invoice or purchase order and all so i selected invoice and here you have to create your schema from that for that invoice so just give your schema name and hit next 
and here you have to give fields name like whatever the fields you have to extract or whatever the variables you create just put it the name here and create your fields that you want to extract from that invoice so i am giving company name document number and at last like a total amount so these fields we i am going to extract from that invoice and click on add button okay and then click on open template editor so once your document is processed it will reflect here and you have to select the or point out the fields where that variables or that items resides in your invoice so let's wait for a second okay so it's loaded so here just hit on edit button and now in uh, right side you are seeing fields name are displaying and the left and in bottom like in middle you have to point out uh, or train your uh, template like uh, how is it going to so likewise you have to select like uh, okay company name resides here so i have point out there and we, i will click company name next for uh, document number i am pointing document number and placed on that document number field so likewise for total amount yeah and just hit on apply and uh, yeah i am done with mine so just click on save button so your template is now ready to process that invoice and extracting the data from this invoice so now we will go in our automation process and now we have to use few actions to call that activities here so that we will run our flow so first we will use extract data template action here we will select our template that we have created just now and we will click on first option because we are already created and we will select our schema that we just created and here we will click on select from list and then we will create our name our demo invoice which is, which we just created and hit on add button so now it's added now here you have to give your document path from where this document is coming so just put your path here document path just give full path okay so sir so just put on in double quotes and just save it okay so as a next we created one data type of invoice so we have to call that data type variable so let's see So first, let's try with log message. See, it's uh, running perfectly or not. Let's see. We will try to run once. It will take few seconds. Yeah, 
so just uh, click on test button and now our run is started yeah so before hitting on test just make sure the desktop isn't is started on your system if not just uh, double click on agent and make it start Okay, so now it's running let's see once it complete we will verify its output okay so you will see like uh, it's extracted and the fields are like company name if you see there are multiple parameters under company name so if you check the name so it's raw value citramate crop and document number is also reflecting okay date i think it's gone very right side okay so finally it's extracted the data so now the question is like how we will assign these values into variable so for that as you remember we created one invoice type variable so now we have to call that variable to store the these values into variable so let's uh, see so if you are saying uh, there are multiple data types you are saying so ours is okay so this one we created just now so just drag and drop and try to assign those extracted values into this variable so for that let's see how i'm assigning just follow the same I just said I created that invoice DT so we have to call only that variable yeah so it's correct so now we we are going to assign the values into these fields what we are created in this variable so let's uh, assign just hit on create custom data okay it's not clicked I guess okay let's try again Yeah, so hit on create custom data. Okay, so now you are seeing company name, document number, total amount, all the variables are came here. So just assign the values in these variables what we are extracted from that invoice. Yeah, so this will come under header fields because we created our fields into header on previous step. Yeah, so just save it in document number. Just uh, select document number dot value. Okay, and in total amount, we will select total amount. can select value or raw value both both will work and i guess both have same uh, values yeah so now in uh, log message we will click my variable because that is coming from the create invoice city variables output so now let's see yeah so now it's done so let's test now i hope all is well let's see Okay, so it's saving all changes. Now we will run our flow and we will see the output. Let's see. Okay, just the hit on test button. Yeah, so it's just retrieving a test package, configuring desktop agent, and then it's uh, started running. Okay, hope so. It will work fine. Let's see. We will validate our output okay so it's ran yeah so you can see company names damage crop total amount is dollar 17 310 document number 11577 yeah so it's uh, worked fine yeah 
so let's validate with our invoice yeah so just to validate it time at crop company name total amount is dollar 17310.00 let's uh, validate at last yeah 17310.00 yeah it's also correct document number has 11577 let's see it is same or not yeah it's correct okay so we received our output and it's correct yeah so that's it for today thank you for watching like share and subscribe thank you